Hi all, and welcome to our Pitching ABC training series for researchers, brought to you by Scholar, a community of researchers, research funders and science communicators. These trainings are designed specifically for researchers to help you to take your pitching and performing skills to the next level. You'll find all our video trainings from our website. In this video, you will learn how to perform your research pitch. Tip number one, help your audience understand you. That means you need to articulate yourself clearly. The bigger the audience, the more you can exaggerate with the articulation. Also, pace yourself. When you're performing on a stage, you tend to be a bit nervous, which makes you speak faster than you naturally would. So take it easy. Remember that your audience needs some time to absorb the new information. So keep pauses during your pitch, especially have a pause right before and after the most important thing. Tip number two, use keywords. Avoid reading your pitch straight from paper. Instead, you can have note cards or use the notes in your slide deck with keywords. The keywords should be the most important words, bullet points or punchlines of your pitch. You can also use your notes to give some advice for yourself. For example, when you should smile, maybe move on stage or have a pause. Tip number three, prepare your mind and body for the stage. Do some vocal warm-up and stretch your face so your voice won't squeak and your speech will flow. Here are a few of my favorites. Mame mimo, mame mimo, moo. Mame mimo, mame mimo, moo. And the legendary sun and raisin rehearsal. Then stretch your body and create a posture that will help you speak audibly and clearly. Stand in position with your legs apart, shoulders back, chin up, an imaginary string from the top of your head pulling you up. A few deep breaths in and out to relax your muscles and balance your breath, especially if you're feeling nervous. Tip number four, dare to care. Being an expert doesn't mean you need to be formal. Show some emotion, dare to care about your topic, be passionate about what you have to say. That's when the audience will care about it too. Tip number five, remember to practice. Speak your pitch out loud, record it on a video, pitch it to your neighbor, do anything to become confident with your pitch. In the end, the only way to become a great performer is to practice. So remember, practice. This was it. Did you learn something new? If you want to keep on learning, check out our other videos or get in contact with us. Good luck with your pitch. You got it.